He's such a liar. One of the most desired games within the NES collecting world. So I'm sure it was also a cartoon at some point. We didn't do our research, I'll be honest. Converter, con convert the door. Plugs in directly to a Super Nintendo controller. Mental thing to say, like you have to be a next level type of dumb to actually believe that and especially use God as justification for saying that. So what does it take to do what we actually do? Well, it's four o'clock in the morning. Well, about 4.12 to be exact. 4.12 in the morning and I'm getting ready to go to the swap meet. Now, once I get there today, I wanna make sure at the end of the day we end up at Retro Games Plus because I think he has some NES games that I want. So at the swap meet, let's see what we can do. Kinda of show you the whole day of what we do. Let's hunt, let's find games, let's find stuff to flip so I can keep building my NES collection. Currently, we're at 287 NES games in the NES Pursuit. Let's do this. Thanks for being here. Look at this Megazord right here. Action figure Megazord. Crispy Clyde over there. <laughs> so I did buy that, by the way, for 30 bucks over there. And it's worth like 55 to 85 bucks, so that'd be great. But now just at another table, a Wii Sports. Uh, a little dusty, but uh, let's see on this guy too. I'll pull it out in a sec. And then as I moved over, there was these just on the table too. Let's go. Ooh, Budokai Tenchi. I hear what I call it, Budokan Tenjin, that's what I called it, and a Pokedex. So I'm gonna ask on all that and this in a sec. Still building a pile. So I did want to point this out. I just picked up all these and we gotta say a huge, massive rest in peace to Akira Toriyama. Uh, at the time of filming this, he passed away yesterday and Curtis doesn't know what I'm talking about, so he's offending everybody. No, he has no idea what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, huge in the scene uh, yesterday in our world and even in our group chats, so uh, rest in peace. So I'm feeling really good about my start so far. I wanna make it very clear that today I kinda of wanna spend my NES money unless I find deals here, but at Retro Games Plus at the end of the day. So what I'm doing here is a very, very Phoenix cream sale of me, but just trying to really build up uh, stuff that I can resell in order to get some really good NES games. I'm hoping to get like a banger today at Chris's store. What in the world? Is this a mod? But it, it plugs in directly to a Super Nintendo controller. But it's obviously based off Street Fighter 2, and it's a joystick. But it would work on a s original Super Nintendo. Am I dumb? I've never. It's not the fight stick. No, I know, but what, like actual original, or someone modded this to work. I don't know. That's that's the question of my moment. All right, I'm gonna try it out. Here you go, Navila. Thank you. I'm gonna try it out. Interesting. I'm interested so enough. Thank you. Thank you. So it's been a little bit and I've done some research and I can't find anything. There's a company on the back of it, like Universal Arcade System, but I can't find their website or anything like that. Well, at least in the short time that I'm here at the swap, I mean, I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time looking while I'm here hunting. So let me know if anybody knows anything about this. Let's see, let's see. He says he might have some games in FBI, here. FBI, open up. FBI, <laughs> open up. <laughs> How many times have you heard that in your life? <laughs> Hopefully not a lot. The daily driver. <laughs> they in there? That's the one you're getting right there. Yeah, I wish. Let's see. Let's take a quick pause to thank a sponsor that we worked with before and we thank them, Factor. You know that I talk about fitness probably more than most gaming channels. In fact, I'm super proud to announce that I am almost eight months deep of no soda. So I'm always doing things I can to try and get more healthy. When it comes to fitness and wellness, Factor helps you reach your goals. Fitness starts with food and Factor makes it possible for you to achieve your daily goals through nutritious, purposeful eating. Ingredients with integrity and dietitian approved. And good gracious, thank you for this one, no prep. No mess. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less, even faster than ordering in. The meal plans offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of 34 plus meal options and 36 plus add-ons like smoothies, keto shakes, desserts, and more. Well, let's be honest, this is perfect for us gamers. Convenience never felt so good. Factor's no hassle prepared meals make sure you always have something nutritious on hand when you don't have time to think about making lunch or dinner. Grab a prepared smoothie or keto shake for a quick snack or heat and eat a chef quality meal in just two minutes with no prep no cleanup necessary, so you can stay focused on what you love to do. If you wanna try this honestly really good food, that's not me saying this, like just to say it, like really good, my wife freaking loves Factor too. Get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for using my link. 
That means you can choose two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Thank you guys for supporting the channel once again, and thank you, my subscribers, for caring about Factor. Right yeah, I wish. Let's see. Any PlayStation? Okay, there's some PlayStation 2 games in here. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's some decent ones in here, too. There's a PS2 Slim, some Dot Hat games, Final Fantasy, uh, Grand Theft. We got Scarface, Kenson, Tank and Tag Term. Okay, and all the games are in here? Yes. Okay, cool. More on the bottom? Let's see. Oh, more on the bottom, bottom. Here we go. Let's see, 30. Oh, nice. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice. Okay. I want to be yeah. That's actually the one I was most excited for. So <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know what this goes for, but I know on the Super Nintendo it holds some <laughs> Shima Monino. Sweet. And then we got ourselves some Mega Bots. Sweet. Sweet deal, Susie. So here's the lot I got. So I ended up paying like a, a little bit higher than I normally would like to, but there was some cool stuff in here like Scarface is good, Mortal Kombat, Shaolin Monks, the Dot Hat games. Of course, this is a good one. Here's this. I really hope I can get this off because uh, this is not only a fun game, but also a, a game that's worth some money. So hopefully I can get this. I, I don't think I'll be able to clean that up. I don't actually don't have much confidence in myself with it, but uh, what a great start to this morning already. And I'm feeling super good about the NES games coming later. What you got, curdy dirty? Bro, this is lame on the table. Old hamper sack, dude. Bro. That is sick, and that's vintage. You know? That's an old vintage. This guy for seven dollars. So. Seven bucks. That is Pretty awesome, dude. Steel. That is beautiful. Good job. Good job. I see Dusty walking over. Oh, yeah. After I just found all these empty cases, these are all empty. I was, I was, my heart was broken. I walked over and I was like, oh my gosh, Dusty's table. They're all empty. Is that empty? Yeah, dude, I'm gonna nail you. <laughs> is it? No, this isn't empty. I put a brick in it. Wait, is it empty? Man. It is empty. No, it's not. Is it not really? Okay, I'm it's gonna. It's missing the, just the cable, so it has the charging dock. Let me see, let me see. Oh, okay. No dock, though? The dock. Oh, it does have the no dock. Cable. Okay. No book okay. Like and I mean, I'm, I'm not being dumb, but I'm guessing you didn't try to like power it up or anything. Oh, dude, it works great. <laughs> You're such a liar, dude. That's, that's the swap <laughs> meet link. Yeah, dude. There's this one guy in another swap meet. He always goes, guaranteed nothing will work. Guaranteed not to oh, work. Oh, yeah. And, but he just says it where you almost like don't realize what he's saying. Oh, that's great. So I did end up picking up all this Nintendo Switch stuff. I paid $150 for everything, which I didn't really know if that's the best deal, but I don't think it's a bad deal either. And I have some loose Switch games at home, so I can complete some of these loose Switch games right here. Dang it. Dusty just pulled out Super Nintendo. Now I have to look at Super Nintendo stuff. And I say dang it because I, I didn't plan on buying this much so quickly because I really want to focus on the NES that's coming in a little bit at the store. And here's what he has for me. Uh, Super Nintendo, uh, I would say three games right here that are worth even showing. Mario All-Stars, Mario World, and Aladdin. These are just the Jenkins tank. I gotta say guys, Caleb though on 1UP, uh, he pays $19 if you sell these to him on 1UP on his app, Phoenix Resale. So. 100% right here. Here's me making almost $40 back of whatever I spend on this. So that's what makes this investment worth it for me on this. Did pick up the lot. You know it's from Dusty, so you know I got waxed mildly. But again, the reason I was most excited, Ben, C Caleb, yes. one up, 19 Ooh, bucks a piece baby, for these. So right there, that's about 40 bucks recouping uh, nice. from Caleb. Did I hear a one up? This video is not brought to you by one up. Check out a uh, Caleb Phoenix resales thing. But at the time of this video, can you check out Retro Rick's channel right now currently? <laughs> Dude, how is that guy doing, man? I feel so bad for him. By the time people watch this, I'm sure he has his channel yeah. back. But right now, currently he does not have a channel. Sorry for leaking it, Rick. Well, okay, so I don't have it with me. I'm, I'm saying it now. I don't have it with me. He has to go get it. Go get it for me. But I just got Shatterhand for $20. <laughs> Uh, the label wasn't the greatest. He was showing me pictures, but Shatterhand for 20 bucks, one of the most desired games within the NES collecting world. So to get it for 20 bucks, that puts me at, let me pause and check. That puts me at 288 NES games. If you didn't know on Shatterhand, it is set in the year 2030. A group of military renegades known as Metal Command, led by General Gus Grover, are seeking to conquer the world by building an army of cyborg soldiers. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I just read that off of Wikipedia. Sorry. But, but don't get me wrong. <laughs> it is one of the best games you can play. 
So after that great time at the swap meet, now I've been doing what I've been waiting to do all day is go and get myself some NES games, even though it's going to be hard to beat Shatterhand for 20 bucks. That's amazing. But here we go. Retro Games Plus. I'm on my way. Build that NES collection, baby. That's me talking to myself. Didn't mention that it was, it's Curtis's birthday today at the time of filming this. So we've been having a lot of fun with him. Gave him some brand new pair of Nikes that I got him for his birthday. But now, uh... Before we go to get those NES games, we he wanted some chronic tacos. So that's where we're going. All right, so we meant to say it at a swap meet, but Curtis, yeah. we kind of found some really cool stuff. Curtis picked it up. Marmaduke. Marmaduke, open that up. All right, let's do it. So it's like screenplay. Ooh, screenplay agreements for Marmaduke. Yeah, he has a non-disclosure agreement. The NDAs in there. There we go. All the illegal paperwork. The writer's pitch bible. It's. Not, I don't think it's complete though. With all of it, it might be this. That's awesome. And then what was the other other one? All right. The cool so ones? then you had this. I, I hadn't even looked through that yet. But this is. Camp California. So Curtis noticed this. I'll be honest, we hadn't heard of it. Hanna Barbera Productions, and then Curiosity got the best of me. I immediately went to YouTube and looked it up. But I want what first came up was interesting was a PC Engine game, Turbo Graphics game. And yes, these characters, which I'll show you right now, those characters are in the video game. Beautiful editor Jared will throw up some gameplay right now. And you can see that there is, you know, these kind of like cool characters looking bears and random figures are in the game and oh there's the bear wait wait let's see yep these kind of characters are in the game so i'm sure it was also a cartoon at some point we didn't do our research i'll be honest and then we found some like walt disney stuff in here as well the guy had a lot of things from Hanna barbera like a lot of the vhs's and so like i saw this i think this was like a a pitch bible as well for a show kind of like your looney tunes back in the day that i had yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it even shows like the financial um statements look at that that's cover beautiful wow the characters and Gorgeous. then um getting merch what t-shirts i didn't even see wait we, is that single stitch hold on it's gotta be it is <laughs> from the, it's from the 80s or 90s. So super cool. Yeah, yeah. Very unique. There he I is. Approve. Are you hoarding salads now? Oh, uh, just burrito bowl. There really is nothing quite like doing what we do every week. And I, I know we've said it a million times, but there's something extremely profoundly special about a group of friends that love to do what we do every single week. It couldn't be more of a blessing. And now we get to go look at more NES games. There it is, the home of homes, Retro Games Plus, which hopefully they got some good NES games with my boy, Ben. Benjamin, can you wave to me? He can't hear me. Hi, Ben. Hi, oh, happy white guy. White guys finish last. <laughs> Sir, do you know how to drive? Yeah, right. Sir, please pull up. Keep going. Beep, 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 beep. And then I was like, Emilio! <laughs> All right, funny enough, one of the greatest NES games of all time. I don't have yet, and I know we're almost at 300. DuckTales, don't have that, and I also don't have Guardian Legend, which is also fantastic as well. Uh, Curtis, sir, who's working over there, I need uh, DuckTales and the Guardian Legend, please. Uh, it's gonna be double for you today. Dog, nah, whatever, dude. Curtis. No! Chris, your personal opinion, which one's better, DuckTales or Guardian Legend? Guardian Legend is a pretty good game, actually. It, it is Garbo. a good game. This is the one where you're like a spaceship. Get out of here, NES <laughs> hater. Oh, Get out of here, Carbo, dude. Freaking God. Fired from the store. <laughs> this is pretty good. It this is This is where you're, you're the ship, and you go back and forth between like... Yes, the, multiple know, styles of gameplay. I like this better, actually. Better, okay. Yeah, I do. Blake, which one do you like? He hates any of <laughs> Stupid guy. <laughs> I'm just a dumb kid, I'm sorry. Hey, dumb kid. Wow, look at these. I didn't even see these, I just walked right by them. Old Street Fighter figs. Man, I don't know if I've ever seen these on card like this. I see them loose here and there, but these are like perfect condition pristine if you're looking for something like this. But there is more NES over here. I never like to have to have you guys watch me like look and pull out my, my one-up app to see what I have. So I'll do that on my own time but there is a good amount and a good amount of box too, which is always kind of a hard, I have a soft spot for caveman games. Uh, Ring King, I have a soft spot for as well. Tubin, uh, let me look. Wait, wait, you got that for a dollar? Yes. Then at games, little Genesis? Yes, sir. And then you just tested it here and it works. And now we're testing an old what web camera <laughs> from Windows 98, dude. Look wow. At this thing. Actually, that's that's awesome. The packaging is actually cooler than the camera itself. Did you try it yet? No, I gotta install some. Okay. Uh, Let me know when you get there. Piece. You see that? It's a Charizard kids rain. And that's vintage. Yeah. Dang. Was this a big trade in right here? Yeah, big trade. Wow. 
That was from the Genesis lot of stuff that I bought. The, a lot of these are sealed. All sealed. sealed really? Sealed. Let me see. Oh wow. Sealed. We had a leaf sealed. green sealed at the in, he brought this is the second time coming in. The first time he had a lot more Pokemon games. Wow, dude. I actually love DJ Boy down there. Fun yeah, game. That's like a hard to not hard to find, but yeah, it's a little more uncommon. Though. It looks it, somewhat different than the other Genesis yeah. games. Thousand dollars. That is? Yeah. Yeah, these go for crazy money. Wow. It's a blue bottom. And we've we bought a box of those before for a couple hundred, and then we were selling packs. We're selling for like sixteen bucks a piece. Wow, that is awesome! I did not know that. Chris nice. is holding out on me like I've never seen. These are all sealed. You have a Chippendale two sealed. Is this in a protector? Yeah. So I can pull this out. Yeah. This was that RC Pro and a clean. Wow! Up Look at this sealed. That's sealed. That's sealed. Wow. This one was sealed, but I wiped it down. With you know how bad I want a Chippendale two? Son of a gun, Chris. You you know what's really interesting though, about this conversation? I'm just letting you know, my birthday is on Wednesday. Chris's <laughs> <laughs> his birthday today. No! no! Chris, you need a birthday birthday. present for me. Yay! It goes inside. <laughs> it goes inside. Yeah. And then it's my birthday, April 8th. Yay! Yeah! 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 No, screw that. He's a hoarder. <laughs> Sealed. Converter, con convertidor, right there. Para jugar con Nintendo, it converts it, you think, from what to what? I think it says on the bottom here, where did it say it? Somewhere on here, 72 pines. Pins. So pins, version USA. So I'm assuming it's Cassette de 72 pines. So I think it's taking Famicom to Nintendo. A converter I, of some sort. I okay. Believe. Yeah, I would. But it could go the other way. I'm not sure. I think it, it doesn't matter. Away, but it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I will take this 100,000%. It's just so funky. Check out this freaking shirt Chris just showed me. Operation Wolf Taito single stitch. This is vintage. And uh, I think I might need this. It's, you know, it's in my head as an NES man right now. And it's a good color. I've been a big fan of not wearing just like black shirts lately. That yes. was a personal of mine. I loved that shirt too. So I had it. It didn't fit me well enough. It was a little Let bit Let me see. Hold it, hold it up to I you. Have a little bit, you know. More what? What? Bulk. <laughs> oh, that's most of my bulk is down here. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yeah. It's a really good shirt though. It really I is. might actually just buy that off you straight up. It would look awesome on you. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, how did I not fit in this? I was actually thinking the same fat. thing. <laughs> Not fat, just you were never fat. Let's make that clear. Just a little bit thicker, you know? Yeah, you yeah. had a little holiday season on I you. I did have a little, yeah. little eggnog. Yeah. <laughs> we all get that during the end of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> lazies, I guess. I got my games. All right, I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can count. Seven games, Platoon, Touchdown Fever, DuckTales, Godzilla, Shadowgate, and Little League Baseball. Shadowgate's a loved one. Oh, DuckTales, you almost just fell on me. You almost just fell. Obviously, DuckTales, in my opinion, is the most fun one of these, but the ones I kind of wanted to point out, I can't believe we didn't have Turtles 2, by the way, that blows my mind. Godzilla, Monsters and Monsters. I think the second one is worth a lot more money, but this one is, is not a fun game by any means. I had it back then, so it's kind of fun to get back. Uh, Platoon, I used to play quite a bit as well. Never would say I even loved it, but I would say 4 being a Sunsoft game, it's one of my least favorite Sunsoft games. But this Touchdown Fever, uh, is, by the way, Chris had it at a good price. This is like a $75, $80 game. Uh, you never really see it, and I like that for a football game, it has like a cool look to it, and I will admit, I did not know it was SNK until this very second. Wow, now I feel like I actually have to give this game a whack. Ooh, I kind of like the way it looks back there. Jared, give me some gameplay right now, my boy. Let's see it into a little gameplay montage. gentlemen girls and boys these games right now put us so close to 300 these games right here oh lord put us at 295 nes games thank you have a good day later peeps have a good one Woo! late
So I also got all of this. It's a box full of goodies, which I don't really want to go through, to be honest, right now. I hate that it's showing the camera on top. That's not the goodies. I know the dumbest thing in there, but we'll go put it in my car. All right. I, if you made it this far in this video, I, I'm assuming you're okay with hearing me talk about something and kind of getting something off my chest that was kind of I was just thinking about um, today. If you know uh, the Retro Rick situation where his channel um, got terminated, taken away, got hacked, um, again, by the time you're seeing this, I'm sure it's all been resolved. But for us right now in this moment, it's still not uh, recouped. I'm assuming he's going to get it back. So let's just say it did. Or I guess it didn't. It doesn't. That's kind of irrelevant to what I wanted to get at. So RetroRex channel hacked, right? Um, was terminated. People took over it. That sucks. It's a horrible situation uh, for someone to have to go through when they work their butt off to get somewhere. Um, I saw a comment, and again, I'm not like a comment responder type of person, um, as far as like letting it get to me. Of course, I love to read your guys' comments and see what you guys are saying and talk with the community. But there was a comment of someone saying something along the lines, actually, this is very much what they said is, Retro Rick, you as a Christian myself, because Retro Rick is, I am as well, um, not really the point of this, but um, you deserve this. You deserve this. As a Christian myself, you deserve this because um, because you're a reseller. This is God's punishment to you for being a reseller. Aside from being like completely like inappropriate timing to bring this up when like kicking someone when they're down, which I'm sure is very biblical. You want to kick someone when they're down, buddy. Uh, second of all. What a moronic, idiotic, mental thing to say. Like, you have to be a next level type of dumb to actually believe that and especially use God as justification for saying that. I, my brain will never understand. And this is proof that I know I've said it before on like the podcast and things like that. And a lot of people are like, you know, when I mentioned, hey, the community used to be so against reselling, which I understand, right? I resell as well. We resell like one hour a week on whatnot, but still that classifies us as reselling. Um, the community was so against it that it was like a sin. It was the most worst thing you could do on the world. And it's comments like this that remind me that people like that still exist that think Rick, who is providing for his beautiful wife, his beautiful children, his family, for my family, again, it's not my full-time job, but I edit for Rick. I know Michael works for Rick, his employees, their livelihood. Rick is being punished because he chose that way as one of the ways to provide for his family and do amazing things for other people. Rick is one of the most generous guys I know I've always said him and Caleb have been shockingly generous and Ashley as well, shockingly generous people when it comes to how they take care of people and people that work for them or by them or within their community or love on them. Um, so when I, when I read that comment, it just stuck with me to a point where I'm like, how dare you throw Christianity or any religion? This isn't necessarily about Christianity, right? Say Rick was a Buddhist and he's like, I'm a Buddhist too, or I'm whatever, or even I'm an atheist and I believe this. Throwing in the person that you, your savior, to demean and put down somebody in a way that's completely so false is just so stupid. And I just, I'm not this kind of guy, but every once in a while I have to say and let people know, and I hate saying this, but those kind of people are just such a next level of moronic. And I'm not going to say the person's name or point it out because I'm not in that space of doing that. I never want to do that, but it's just, it's just sad. It's just sad to see. And with that said, I'm sorry. That is just one of those things I had to get off my chest. And I think it's because I'm so much of a community person that when I see something like that, it just bothers me to a next level that once in a while, I feel like someone who loves the community as much as I do. I just have to speak up. What a great day. It, it, it is a reminder that the 99% of you guys, of the people, you beautiful guys and gals that we see out in the wild, you guys are fantastic, amazing people. We love you so much. We cherish you guys so much. We protect you guys. We want you guys to be, to feel the love, to know you're loved. And also the fellow YouTubers that they're loved as well. And they are just as much as part of this community. And we're thankful for every single 
each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Every time I will scream it from the rooftops. Thank you so much for being a part of the NES Pursuit.